Hey y'all. Thank you for joining me today. And please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. We'd really appreciate that. I am excited to be here because I am wondering how many of you have ever been curious about real Florida and learning about it from a real Floridian who lives here now and has lived here most of her life like me. So you've hit the jackpot today because I get asked a lot of questions about my paddleboard and my paddleboarding adventures and I love that here in Central Florida we have a I think the largest concentration of natural springs like one of the largest concentration of natural springs in the entire world and we definitely have more natural springs than any other state and in Central Florida alone we have so many natural springs that I could literally go to a new one every weekend and have a new adventure and there are so many communities that you may not even know about that have these waterways and watering holes and rivers and springs right in their backyard like me this is my backyard so i just have a little tiny one and then behind you you can't see it but there's another one that's linked and these are spring fed uh waterways right here in dr phillips I, I don't, I'm going to go into that and I, I'm going to do a series, so I hope you can join me every week and that's why I want you to subscribe to our channel because I am going to start taking you um, one by one through some of these different homes, communities, and waterways. But today I want to talk more about my paddleboard and the questions that I get asked all of the time about paddleboards and where to go when you get one or uh, where can you rent one. So I'm going to talk about mine. Um, I got my board as a special gift and I was very, very diligent and thorough in my research on deciding what kind of paddleboard I wanted and I wanted to share with you guys. I did a little list and I'll share it with you. Um, the difference between a rigid paddleboard like mine and an inflatable paddleboard, I did a list of cons. Um, a, I went with a rigid board. It's you know whatever is going to work best for you. I chose rigid because it's a better performer in the water, and I wanted to get a really serious board. Um, so it's better in the water. It's faster in the water. Although I chose a really big one because I want to put a kid and a dog on it with me. Um, I can just grab it and go. I don't have to get where I'm going and then inflate it. Uh, it's it's solid and rigid so it's sturdy and to me it feels a little more stable and easier to balance on you can go surfing on it although mine's really big it, it, I have had it on the waves it was hard to surf and um, it costs a little more for a rigid board the pros for inflatable is easy to port to you know you can take it anywhere you can bring it on an airplane you can store it in your garage it's easy to store so it, and it costs less a lot of my friends are getting them because they're a lot less expensive and you can just order one and it'll arrive at your doorstep tomorrow. Um, and so they're super lightweight. Well, let me show you my board real quick. I um, went with a custom board. I chose a shop about 45 minutes east of Orlando and Merritt Island because it came highly recommended to me by several people. Where's my zipper? Sorry, it's been a minute. And I went to meet Gerard who recommended this board because I told him what I wanted to do with it, which was take my kid and my dog and basically just cruise. I'm not competing, I'm not racing. I got the hat because you want to protect yourself. But um my board came with this fancy little cover. And I'll show you how easy it is for me. So, my board was custom made it's from a company in Australia called ECS. This is a Vara. It's huge. I think I'll have to check the measurements. I'm pretty sure it's almost 14 feet long and wide. And like I said, 
Um, I've already gashed it once on the Wakaiva River because I did not see a stick. But that's my board. Um, turn it that way. You can see it's pretty easy. It's not that heavy. So I can carry it. Use your leash because if you do fall, I don't care how good your balance is or how well you can swim, like a wave will knock you down or like somebody bumps your board and it sh you lose your balance. Um, this is my wet bag. So I literally, it's like a drawstring bag with a zip. I've got my citronella and my lip protection in there always. And then on the inside, so it's really cute. I picked it. This part is the wet part. So you put stuff in there you want to keep dry, like a phone, clothing, and then you fold it over and clip it. And then it stays safe in there. That's a, a cute one. This is like, you get this one at Walmart. Same thing, same idea, fold it down. If you've done any kind of boating, you've probably seen these. Um, any kind of hat is good. The sun is going to get you on your shoulders and your back without knowing it. So protection, and it does. Don't don't buy a fancy, expensive one because again, if the wind blows it off and it's gone, it's gone. Um, my paddle came with. I can adjust it pretty easily as I need to because the great thing about paddle boarding is you can stand or sit like a kayak. My husband has a kayak and he ends up sitting all day. Um, I can lay down, I can stretch, I can move around. So if you get fidgety or get um, you know, muscle things and you wanna move around, paddle board's great for that. These are my roof racks because like I said, I can't deflate it and stick it in my car. I have to put it on top of my car and I can lift that big thing and get it on my car. These are really easy. They, I don't have any damage on my car. They strap right in um, through the top and the board lays on top and it's pretty easy to secure them. They came in that bag. You have to have a life vest. It's a law. If you get out there and, um, you know, the patrol sees you, I don't care. They'll give you a ticket or they'll pull you over. And I don't, I, I was a swimmer. If you can swim, that's fine. But what if you fell and bumped your head and then started to sink? Those lakes are deep. That keeps you up so that people can actually help you. So you're helping others by having that. I don't really wear it, but I do have it on my board. And I think the other, ugh, other thing, sunglasses with a strap, y'all. Cause the first time I went out in the Keys and a wave knocked me backwards, my glasses were gone. So at least when I have the strap, they're around my neck. So I, like I said, I'm going to be uh, taking you and showing you some of the springs that I enjoy the most. I will take you on my board. I'd like to visit some shops. The shop where I got my board is called Sobe Surf. It's in Merritt Island. Say hi to Gerard if you get out there. He's amazing really really resourceful and helpful and what got me when I got there his, he had a picture of himself with his dog on his board so that sold me right away and his dog was at the shop um, thanks for joining like I said earlier please 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 subscribe to our channel today peace out yo